Keep these things in mind. The data in the system only goes back three years. The data is not entered into the system in real time. Therefore, it may take approximately one to two weeks for newly written prescriptions to show up on a report. To create a patient report, go to orpdmp.com and click on PDMP User Access and Registration on the left menu. Click on the Provider's Query Site Login. Click Login and enter your username and password. Select Recipient Query, which is the correct choice for running a patient report. Read the liability statement and check the box indicating that you accept these conditions. Enter the patient's last name. Enter the patient's first name. Only enter the first three letters of the patient's first name unless they have a very common name, such as John Smith. Enter the patient's date of birth. Click the Submit button. You will receive a list of matches for your patient. Ensure that only your patient is selected. If you do not receive any matches, change your search parameters. Leave the zip code and county fields blank. While broadening the search can help you locate your patient, it may also bring up patients that are not yours. Be careful to select only your patient when creating your report. Choose how you would like the record sorted and click the Request button. The patient report contains information on date the medication was prescribed and dispensed, quantity dispensed, drug name, prescriber name, pharmacy name and city, and patient's name, date of birth, address, and city. If you choose to print out the report, you can store it in the patient's medical record as long as HIPAA privacy standards are met. Due to the dangers associated with the use of controlled substances, the PDMP can be a powerful tool to help you assess and treat patients. We recommend that you use the PDMP when seeing new patients, when prescribing new controlled substance medication therapies, when there is a red flag, such as a patient request for an increase in medication or early refills, when seeing patients who've been on opioids 90 days or more, and when prescribing medications that could present an overdose or adverse reaction if combined with a controlled substance. We recommend that you cross-check the patient report with the information in the patient's medical record. You may find prescriptions from other prescribers or pharmacies you were unaware that your patient was using. If the reports don't match, you can share the PDMP report directly with your patient and ask about those prescriptions which do not match. Other providers have found this useful to begin a dialogue with other prescribers about coordinating a medication review for patients. Here is one example of how the PDMP has initiated a conversation between prescriber and patient. Tracy is a 45-year-old female with a history of chronic migraine and depression. She came to see me for an evaluation of her pain and to optimize her pain management. After reading her record, I could see that she had been prescribed opioids for many years. I could also see that she had multiple hospitalizations and trips to the ER for migraine relief, typically getting treated with opioids. She had such high healthcare utilization that she was part of a special social work intervention at our hospital. Despite this intervention and efforts of her PCP, she continued to have high healthcare utilization and opioid use. Part of my pain evaluation of patients includes a check of the PDMP. During this routine check, I discovered that Tracy had been going to multiple different dentists about every three to five days over the last three months to receive Vicodin or oxycodone in addition to the opioids she was getting from her PCP. I printed out her PDMP results and showed them to her. She responded by saying, oh my god, I had no idea that my problem had gotten this bad. I expressed concern about her use of multiple providers and multiple pharmacies and offered her treatment both with Suboxone and outpatient addiction treatment. That was six months ago. Today, Tracy has been successful in treatment, abstinent from opioids, able to start caring for her family again, has improved depression and improved pain. Her multiple ER visits have ceased and she feels grateful for the PDMP for shedding physical light on her opioid addiction. Creating a patient report provides you with a great tool to increase patient safety when prescribing for your patients.